Trois Corbys traditional arranged by Bert Jansch. Uh, key of D minor, uh, standard tuning. And there's an intro uh, vamp or riff, two bars. The D minor is played with a little finger on the second string, okay? That's because the next chord is this B flat bass major, uh, major seven with a ending up on this shape. So that's a B flat major seven chord, but just pulling off from the A. Yeah, to that. And that leads into a C chord. Pulling off from the E on the fourth string. Okay. So all together, that bar. One and two and three and four and. and it's about the speed. Okay. The next bar is a bit different, it starts the same way. Then we've got a goes to a plain to B flat with the open G, so a B flat six or G minor with a B flat bass. And then the C is this C bass this time and a hammer on on the onto the D there on the second string. And with the G in there as well. So that's bar two. Two and three, four and. So those two bars repeat. And then we're into the vocal. Uh, and that's actually the first bar of the vocal there. As I was a walking. Now this bar. Okay, so I kind of have a D minor seven. I open G at the end of the bar because he's changing up to this other shape. So this is a walking. Now, a couple of ways of playing this bar. You can play it whether Index here, pull off here, and the open E. So that's 5 3 O on the first string, A G E, and then a C on the third string there. Out of tune there. That's better. Okay. So yeah, that bass is bar six on the transcription. There's an, the alternative way to play that is with a full bar here. So then you get the pull off with a little finger and the E and the C are then here. That's nice and easy on its own. It's just a question of whether you can get from, from here confidently into that and then back out for the next bar okay uh, there's a slight variation in the way it's played the second time which we'll I'll come to in a second so those two bars this is on uh, walking all a lane walking all a lane so you're, you're from there back to that question whether you prefer to 
all the same, really. Now, the next bar, um, mm. Elaine, this is bar seven. Back to that. So, to our carbis, carbis, all of that. So, this is that's repeating it, okay. This bar, there's a slight variation there because he's playing the same melody but this time from an E bass. So, really, it's got to be with the open E there. But then you can still play the C on the uh, third string if you want, but because there's an open G. That then stops the G ringing. So I might prefer that. Because after that it's going to a G chord. To that, alright? So either way works there. Now this is and tain and t the tither did say. That's those three bars there. <clears throat> and tain and tain and tain the end good say. Something like that. And tain and tain. So as a G, G, F, G, B flat, F, G, and always with this little the D here on the second string, okay, all the way through. And then from there it's back to uh, it says, where shall we gang? Where shall we gang and where shall we gang and? Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll try and lead into that again from the previous line. All right, now the next bar, Dine the Day. Syncopation here, so it's going from an A minor, D. To and the mm, the day, where shall we gang and dine the day? Oh, and then this is where shall we gang and I dine the day? He repeats that line to the previous line, previous guitar part. Where shall we dine? Where, <laughs> where shall we gang and dine? Okay. Uh, okay, once more the whole way through, and I'll just demonstrate, I won't talk and I'll try not to sing. <laughs> okay, so from the beginning of the vocal.
okay uh, it's really the same thing all the way through at the end there's a slight kind of change when he he bends the that bottom C so the very last time he plays the riff just that okay very very simple little um, ending Try slow down there. Okay. Try Corby's.